That's in my blood. Um, people so, used to say that there was developer running through my veins, not blood. And I'm third generation. Um, but it's not so much that, you know, like I was going to be a professional footballer. Um, I was quite good. And even Winton Roofer acknowledged that just recently in, in amongst 500 people at the town hall that I was good. Um, but I got injured. And so, you know, with the family background of being into photography, I'd always been taking photos right from, you know, little, little, little five-year-old. And I enjoyed my, started to pick up the camera, enjoyed my sports photography. And that's, you know, that was, um, got me into places. But it's a tool, uh, you know, like it's in our papers, it's all around us on billboards. Um, it makes people feel, feel happy, it makes people feel sad. It's completely emo uh, emotive if you handle it the right way and if you know what you're doing. We can be intrusive in our photos and we can change things a lot just by being there. And I know, um, you know, you look at um, certain conflict areas in the world, are sometimes peaceful until a camera arrives. It doesn't matter whether it's a video camera or a, a, a media photographer. I go by the phrase honesty and its intention, which is an Arthur Bates phrase that he coined, which really means that if you're creating art, you can change things around, and if you're recording history, you really shouldn't. That's the thing, the, the, the passion of photography, and the, the art, the creativity, and the science that comes into it. It's just amazing because um, it's never going to end. It's totally limitless. You know, you, you, uh, I mentioned repertoire. You know, it's such an important word as a, as a photographer nowadays because you've just got to be using lots of different things in lots of different situations to gain the result that you're, you're looking for. And it's how you do it, you know, that gains you that, that end communication with those that are viewing the image. Different things um, depend on different circumstances. You know, like with portraiture, um, especially children early in the morning, I'm really quite good. Here I come, Oliver. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> That's a great oh, shot. I love it. I had a child earlier this week where I, I, I took 20 shots, and all 20 shots were, were, were whiz bang. But you can get a child in the afternoon, and, and you can get all 20 shots that that you might struggle with until you get that one good one, you know? And more often than not, the parents are looking for one or two shots anyhow. My philosophy is a mixture of um, having fun, creating art, and recording history. On my workshops, I always recommend to, to people to um, hard copy anything that they think is, is really good, and try and proof sheet or hard copy um, as much as what they can, rather than leave them on, on electronic formats like DVDs, CDs, and even hard drives. You gotta be um, careful, because your images are something that are really precious. You only have to see what came out of Christchurch. You know, most of the people who were asked as to what they took first, it was their photo albums. You know, it's sad, but it's true, but that's their memories. Ansel Adams maintained that, you know, photographers didn't mature until they were in their, their mid-70s. So I've got a wee way to go. And you know, like I'm, I'm hopeful that you know you can pass on knowledge, and you're gaining knowledge all the time, and you can you can um, work with people in a, a collaboratively, which is a lot of fun. But you can also work independently as well, and and bring forth new ideas all the time. You know, like it's just neat that you can you know, apply things and enjoy things yourself, but also hopefully as a little bit of a bonus, give other people some enjoyment as well. I always think um, a great photo evokes something in, in lots of other people. Practice, practice, practice. Um, don't get rusty. Um, keep shooting stuff every day. Set yourselves up with um, challenges in relation primarily to those apertures, shutter speeds and ISOs. That's the first thing that I think I would recommend to people so that you get that in, intuitive and inherent understanding of of what you can do and when to apply it. I think that's that's hugely important. Don't change your gear around too often just because there's a new camera out there. Um, get used to what you've got because nowadays every single piece of equipment pretty much you know, will, will do a really great job.